Hey yo, what's up my little coders? In this video you're going to see a Java fight. A string concatenation using the plus operand will compete against the string builder. First of all, I'm going to make a quick experiment and I will try to concatenate the string a lot of times using both of these options. And in the end, I will explain you the results which we get and explain you why it works in the way it works. And guys, a quick spoiler, a difference is going to be huge. I would say it's going to be quadratically huge, if you know what I mean. Okay guys, let's get started and let's do it. Okie okay, dokie guys, so what do we have here? Basically let's just concatenate the string for 100,000 times using the simple Java plus operand. So we'll execute this for loop 100,000 times and we'll just do like the string plus the word yola. So and then we're going to have like a very huge string and yeah, let's just calculate how many milliseconds it will take us to do it, and we'll just print this value. Okay, simple draw string concatenation, let me run it, let's see the result. Okay, it took us 2647 milliseconds. Is it a lot or not? Not sure yet. Let's do the same thing, like the program will do exactly the same task, however we will use the string, bingo, string builder instead. So I just can comment this out and just write. Okay, so program is doing exactly the same thing, just in a bit different way. So we define the string builder. After that, like we iterate for 100,000 times and we append the word YOA to the string builder. And then we just update our result value by doing a result is equal to string builder dot to string. In the end, our result variable will store exactly the same string as uh, our previous program with the simple plus operand string concatenation. Okay, let me run it now. Let's see the result. Ho, 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 guys. The difference is huge. With the string builder, it took us 7 milliseconds to execute this program. Why did the string concatenation using the plus operand did so badly compared to the string builder? Basically, the reason is the following. The strings in Java are immutable, which will mean that like on every concatenation, a new copy of the string will be created, and two strings, in this case, are copied over character by character, which is quite expensive operation, especially when you do it like for 100,000 times. So that's why it took us so long. Whereas, when we've been using the string builder, basically the string builder maintain some mutable array of characters and we don't need to create like a new copies when we don't need to do it. So we can just append this like word for 100,000 times like inside the for loop. But when we like need to convert the string builder to the string, we can just do it like outside the for loop and do it only once. This is basically the reason why the string builder perform like much more better compared to the Java string. Simply as that, guys. In fact, let's talk a bit about the time complexities of these two programs, right? I think with the string builder, it's like it's it will be much more simpler because it will be just like O n, so the linear time complexity. You just iterate uh, for like one hundred thousand times, but you're using the string builder, so you're storing the values in the array, and only after the the for loop when it's needed, you convert everything to string, so it's linear. But with the plus operand, it will be a bit more trickier. So in this program, like on the first iteration, we will need to copy x amount of characters. On the second iteration, it will be like 2x amount of characters, third iteration, 3x amount of characters, and so on. You can basically write this thing as like O of x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x, so like n until the end. Or we can simplify this thing and write it as just like n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2. This is basically the same thing as this like sequence. This is just like the more mathematical version of it. Or we can also simplify it even more and say that it's like 0 0.5 n squared plus 0 0.5 and if you just multiply these things here. And guys, in fact, when you're calculating the time complexity, if you already studied this at university or not, I don't know if you heard it from some somewhere, basically this thing also can be just reduced to the O of n squared Yeah, the time complexity of the string builder in this case will be like 
uh, on, whereas the plus operands will give us like n squared in this particular case, uh, which I show to you. So guys, yeah, when you need, when the efficiency is required and like you, you need to iterate to the for loop and connect the strings, definitely use the string builder because it will perform much better. Of course, like when you just need to connect it like three or four strings, I don't know, just like a small amount. In this case, guys, just use the normal string concatenation using the plus operand, it will be the same. But when efficiency is required, and let's say you're <clears throat> solving some algorithms, some complex problems, which need to be efficient, this, in this case, definitely string builder, simply as that, guys. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, just guys, please make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. And guys, also, if you're interested in writing the efficient code, on my channel, I solve some little questions and I post my solutions with the explanations. Make sure you check them out. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Good luck.